Hello and welcome. Before you watch this video, pause it, read the problem, and then resume it when you're ready to compare strategies. Okay, so in this problem, they tell us that a company manufactures radios, um, that manufactures radios, first pays a startup cost. So um, think about a business, right? If you are selling something or manufacturing, right? Manufacture, of course, means to make something. They're making radios. This problem is already setting up the context uh, of, of cost to make it, right? When you make a product, it costs money to make it. And part of that is they're calling it here a startup cost. Now, this problem is probably going to focus then around the cost of making something to sell it. Let's see if they do. And then it spends a certain amount of money to manufacture each radio. So there's a startup cost right, to get your factory going, and then there's a certain amount of money to manufacture each radio. So this is all about the cost of making the radios. If the cost of manufacturing our radios, look at this language right here, our radios, that's a common mathematical way of saying that R represents the number of radios. That's what this is saying right here. R equals the number of radios. Now we could say that, but typically I think we just say R radios because it's easier. So if you see a variable next to a word like this, that might mean, or most likely will mean, that that variable represents the number of the, the noun that's next to it, in this case radio. So R is a number of radios. It's given by the function C of R equals 5.25R plus 125. Then the value of 5.25 best represents. So they're asking us in this problem, what does 5.25 represent? So let's pick that apart. Um, so we can infer C of R. This is a function C based on R. Now we know R is the number of radios. We've already established that. So then C we can infer is the cost that's based on the number of radios, right? Cost as a function of the number of radios we produce. So that just means that the more radios the factory produce, produces, the more it will cost to produce them. So what are we looking at in this function? Well, 5.25 times the number of radios plus 125. Well, if you remember, they told us early on that there was a startup cost, and that's a constant number because you only start up once. So this is the startup cost right here. It's $125, maybe, to start the company. I don't know if that's dollars or whatever. Maybe it's $125,000 or $125 million. We don't know. But that's the startup cost right there. Therefore, 5.25 times the number of radios, well, that's logically the cost, right? It costs to manufacture each radio. And if that's not helping you, plug some numbers in for R. So for example, Let's say R is, is 2, so there's 2 radios. So the cost based on 2 radios, that would equal $5 or 25 cents. Maybe it's $5 or 25 cents, we don't know, times 2, plus 125 maybe dollars, I don't know. So 5.25 doubled is 10.50 plus 125. So notice we plug in 2 for the number of radios. And that means that it costs $10.50 for two of them. They're each $5.25. Uh, and we add the startup cost. So the cost, the total cost of producing two radios is $135.50. Um, so just to establish what, what happened here. Again, $125 is the startup, right? That is something we agree on. $5.25 is the cost, the cost per radio. And then, therefore, now we can conclude that C especially looking at this example right here in each case, is the cost of everything, the startup and the cost per radio. It's the total cost. So here, the 135.50 is your total cost of operation, startup and cost per radio. So if we go back to our choices, um, 525 is not the startup cost. That was 125. The profit earned. Well, we're not looking at profit. Profit is what you make after the, you've lost um, money from expenditures. That's not us. The amount spent of, to manufacture each radio is our answer. The average number of radios manufactured uh, has nothing to do with this equation, right? We're not looking at that at all. This equation just a model, models um, based on any number of radios how much our total cost would be. So if this problem uh, was a little shaky for you, start it over. Try it again. Go to a blank page. Start it again without the video and see if you can get it. Thanks.